Hi everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It is crafting time again. I have an amazing, beautiful wreath today for the holidays. It is so beautiful, yet so simple, but it's very, very elegant. You can give it as a gift. You can keep it for yourself. Hang it on a front door, hang it in the house. It's made with a grapevine wreath, which is completely versatile, so it can be hung indoors or outdoors. This is what the wreath is gonna look like right here. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. First, we're gonna make the bow. You're going to need a pipe cleaner and wired ribbon. You're going to make a loop that's approximately two inches tall and twist it at the bottom, moving the tail out of the way. You're going to continue making loops, as many as you'd like, depending on the size of the bow you're making, that match the initial loop or are a tiny bit bigger. You're going to twist underneath wrap around to the other side of your first loop and make your third loop. You're going to twist underneath again, wrap around to the other side, and make another loop. For this bow, I'm going to make approximately nine loops because I want a decent size bow. I like to use an odd number of loops because then I have my center loop and I can move the other pieces, which makes an even number, around the one center loop. So I've made nine loops total, and at the end, I'm going to make sure to twist underneath. I'm then going to put my pipe cleaner through the very middle loop, the first one I did, bring it to the bottom and twist it. This is what I'm going to use to attach it to my wreath. I'm now gonna spread all of my pieces apart and get it ready to put on the wreath. I'm going to take the ends, fold them in half, and cut toward the bow at an angle to make nice ends that look just like this. I'm now gonna do it with my long leftover piece as well, the last end. I'm going to fold it in half, cut it up toward the bow at an angle, and make a matching end piece. Now my bow is ready to go on my wreath. For this wreath, you will need ribbon, you will need a grapevine wreath, you will need berries of all different shapes and sizes, and anything else that you think that you would like to add to this beautiful, elegant wreath. Make sure you have a hot glue gun with plenty of glue sticks, scissors, and have some wire handy as well, because wire is helpful in attaching it to the wreath. I bought these beautiful wooden curly pieces that I am now going to trim the ends and attach to my wreath first. I want these to go underneath everything else. So I'm going to attach these in two different ways. I'm going to attach them with wire, but I'm also going to attach them with hot glue because I wanna make sure they stay. So I'm just going to intertwine the wire underneath my grapevine wreath, twist it on so that it stays in place and arrange them as I go. I wanna make sure these stay on because these are the base of my wreath. So I wanna hot glue them and I wanna make sure they stay in place. I'm going to hot glue both ends, and now I'm going to take one big berry stem that I have folded in half so that I have berries going both directions. With this, I'm also going to wire them on and hot glue them on because I wanna make sure that they stay in place and that they don't go anywhere because this is a heavy piece. I'm gonna twist it on well and make sure everything looks symmetrical. This is the ribbon I used for this project and obviously we used one pipe cleaner as well, but this is the second piece of ribbon. This is actually a thicker piece of ribbon that I wanna to use to put underneath my ribbon, which will hide some of the imperfections in the glue of my wreath. So I'm just going to take one wide piece, I'm going to use a gold pipe cleaner since it has gold in it, and I'm then going to wrap it around the middle and use the pipe cleaner to attach it to the wreath. This is going in the center of all of my berries and this is also gonna go right under my bow, which is the main attraction of this beautiful wreath. Once you get that attached, you can take your bow and you can attach it as well. As you can see, I used a different ribbon for the bow that I showed you as my sample, but I just wanted to make sure to show you an up close view of how to make these beautiful bows because they really are the centerpiece to your wreath. I've now used my pipe cleaner on my bow 
to attach that to the wreath as well. And I want to twist it underneath to make sure that it stays on and doesn't come off. That's what's so nice about the pipe cleaners is it makes it very, very easy to attach to your wreath when you're all finished. Trim off any extra ends so that you don't have anything sticking out. And then you can tuck anything underneath the bow to hide any imperfections. Beautiful. Now these little icicle pieces I just stuck in there so that I could figure out the balance with the ribbon. So now I'm going to take these and I'm going to glue, glue them in with some hot glue. I'm just going to put some hot glue along the entire stem and put it down in there and hold it in place and make sure that it is secured to my grapevine wreath. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other end because I want my wreath to match top to bottom. Hot glue works really well when you're working with this type of wreath and it glues and dries quickly. This is the finished product. I think it turned out lovely. I love working with grapevine wreaths because they just look so natural. The berries turned out beautiful and I also like the touch of white with the little icicles. Of course, like I said before, the ribbon is always one of the main attractions to your wreath. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed making this. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!